One of the biggest shows in Broadway history is coming back to Connecticut, Hamilton. The Tony Award winning musical will open at the Bushnell in Hartford this Wednesday. I visited the Historic Performing Arts Center for a preview from its director, David Fay. I'm past patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation. David, thanks so much for being with us here today. This is pretty exciting, having Hamilton at the Bushnell. Well, we're thrilled to have the show. I mean, it did such great business the first time. It's doing excellent business this time as well. And as we're coming out of the pandemic, it's great to have a show like this. It's going to, you know, fill houses for three weeks in a row and give people the confidence, help encourage them to, to be able to come back. How has the pandemic impacted the Bushnell? How has the theater world changed because of the pandemic? I, and that remains to be seen. Uh, we're not through it yet. Uh, the after effects of it. If, if you just saw the Tony Awards, that was two years of stumbled openings and closings and, uh, you know, crammed together into one season of Tony Awards. And um, we have, a, there are many, many more shows opening here in this coming year. Uh, we have to get the tourism back into New York. International uh, tourism has to come back into New York for those shows that have the ability to run for four, five, six, seven, ten years to really find their footing. And so um, I, I would like to say, snap of a finger, it's all going to turn around, but it's not. It's going to be a while. But uh, we'll be here. We've been here for 92 years. We'll be here for 92 more uh, and, and bringing great shows. When a show like Hamilton comes to town, where do the patrons come from? They really come from all over for a show like Hamilton. We pull, obviously, regularly from Massachusetts, from the state of New York, uh, you know, upstate New York, even as you get down into Fairfield County and farther away. But um, a show like this can draw from Vermont and New Hampshire, and it goes, it goes out much farther. And people who have family in town here who may live on the West Coast or somewhere else, they'll plan the trip around a, a show like like this or like Wicked. One of the attractions about seeing a show here at the Bushnell is this majestic building itself, 92 years and strong. Tell me about it. Without a doubt, it's the fondness, the love, the um, relationship that this building and, and all of the shows and activities that happen here have with this community. Um, we have people on our board who grew up here they graduated from you know walking across the stage so there's a tremendous um love for the institution for the building it is a beautiful building um it's the people's theater it's the people's theater that absolutely right and we've worked hard in the time that i've been here to uh, reach out farther into the community, to uh, not only bring more people here, but for the Bushnell to do work more out in the community. And in doing so, it's kind of like we're going into your house and you can come into ours, and it makes a different kind of relationship. What is the next big show in the pipeline you'd like to get here? Well, we have Moulin Rouge coming uh, down the road a little bit, <clears throat> but um, that's a very exciting show. It'll be in for a couple weeks. Um, big monster show uh, visually you know, stunning um, and you never know that's the answer to that question is you never know uh, when Lynn manuel Miranda said he was working on a new musical based on Alexander Hamilton most people went oh boy he's crazy David Fay from the Bushnell thank you so much for joining us for this week in Connecticut and best of luck on the show thank you Tickets are still available, I'm told. Still ahead on This Week in Connecticut, celebrating dads and all they do. We'll take you to Lyman Orchards in Middlefield, where some very special fathers got a chance to hit the links this past week. And we invite you to connect with us here at WTNH. You can email me this week at WTNH.com or find me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll be right back.